Hello everybody, we are back, Geeks and Barbells, another episode of Anime Mode where we geek out on anime, my love, the beautiful thing that people make and then give to us, mainly for free, because of a lot of illegal activity online, which is unfortunate, which is why you should always watch your anime through a legal source, such as Crunchyroll, or Funimation, or Netflix, or Amazon Prime, because if you're not... You're an asshole. I'm serious. Unless you literally cannot find the anime you're trying to see on any of those platforms and the only way to get it is illegally. That is the fault of the Japanese because they do not share their shit properly. So I forgive you if you do it for that reason. That being said, we will move along. I wanted to do a review of the Irregular at Magic High School, which not many people talk about, uh, even though it is... A pretty awesome anime that being said I am going to say a lot of negative things about this anime because it falls into so many tropes so many ridiculous things that happen in Japanese anime that I want to shoot myself that being said it is still pretty damn cool so first the negative I think anyone who's watched my videos before this will know one of the negatives is of course huge amount of unnecessary ecchi that is very awkward. In fact, one of the most awkward, edgy stuff I have ever seen. Especially the weird incest going on between the main character and his sister. So that seems to be a theme that is very much shared in many anime, but this one manages to make it very obscene simply because one of the joys of this anime, which I love so much about it, is that the main character is not an idiot which happens so much in most anime, where the character is just this loud, obnoxious, idiotic child who makes no sense. In this one, the main character is phenomenal. He is great. He's very serious. His sister, very serious as well, but their relationship is strange. Now, I have cheated uh, because this anime season only lasts for one, unfortunately, and doesn't continue. But I have checked out a little bit of the manga and the continuation of the story, so I understand a little bit more how they got into the situation they're in. But for anyone watching who's just looking for pleasure, this is going to make zero sense. And the incestuous relationship and the fact that the two siblings live together and it's never fully explained why they're kind of just stuck together and even the relationship towards their family is very, very strange. And again, that edginess between him and his sister and then the other females just don't make any sense. So I will constantly, as usual, shit on most ecchi inside these series because it serves no purpose, it goes nowhere, and as usual, the male protagonist in the series shows zero interest in females at all. So as usual, there's this ecchi, there's this sexuality, but it serves nothing. It doesn't go anywhere, there's no relationship developing. It's pointless. It's just dumb. It's there to cater to small children. That being said, it is also great in terms of, at the very least, keeping people serious overall. There is some humor. There is some childish bickering that happens overall in the series, but most of it is very, very focused. It is very serious. The action um, scenes are fluid. They're great. There's a lot of different styles of combat showed off. On the negative side, none of it is explained properly. There's a weird mix within this series where tech and magic are sort of intertwined. Uh, and it, a lot of it is talked about, but actually doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It is not properly explained to us in any sense or form where the source of the magic, there, there's a dichotomy between ancient magic so like it seems internal magic something you're just born with at least it seems that way and then magic where people are just using tech to activate it so it's very confusing and intertwined and never properly explained um, there are also tons of enemies that are just kind of thrown consistently at the characters and they just kind of overpoweredly just bulldoze through everyone which kind of makes it a little bit uninteresting because you you obviously after a while just know that your characters can't be defeated and everyone is overpowered which kind of neutralizes the main push of this series which they talk about so much so 
the main character goes to this magic high school where there's a separation between what are called blooms and weeds. There are the honor students who are supposedly very powerful and very talented and the weeds who are just lesser people. This of course is thrown out right off the bat because every weed who the main character interacts with is super strong also. <laughs> and so you don't get this sense at all in the slightest of this separation between the characters. And it can't be that just magically this year, these people just all happen to be really, really strong and tough. And every other year, every weed was weak as fuck and nobody noticed. So it, it, it really makes no logical sense. Every story narrative within it, trying to create this separation between the honor students and the lesser students, the weeds, just falls flat on its face because every weed you meet is very, very powerful. Every person seems unique. Of course, they all got into this school and it's supposed to be a high level school. So everyone is strong and it just kind of makes it ridiculous. And the main character himself is so largely overpowered that there's no threat to him. That being said, I still find this anime incredibly enjoyable to watch simply because the fight scenes are so, so great. And the main character, regardless of how strange he is, he is so interesting to watch because of how straightforward and focused and intelligent he is that it's a breath of fresh air in comparison to the idiocy that we see in so many animes these days. So I think if you want to have an anime that's just great combat with a character that will really want you to enjoy how overpowered he is, this is the one for you. All you got to do is just ignore every relationship that's in there and, and ignore, ignore the ecchi and ignore the weird brother, sister, incest stuff going on that's never acknowledged. Just kind of hyper focus on that and i think you can find a lot of enjoyment for anyone who wants to take a little bit of time after and go look up the a manga or at least just check online to just understand fully more what the story is and how the brother and sister ended up where they are you will understand the story much more but if you're just looking for a great little quick anime to watch to get your fix for action and fighting and some cool magic this is the anime for you. It's got a great, great mix of not only magic, but also just physical combat. There's some great battle scenes. There's some great strategy going on in some instances. Uh, the mixing and utilization of different magical abilities to complement each other when they're working in a squad and fight against people. So there's some, there's some really cool concepts inside. The designs are nothing hugely special but overall the anime re retains a pretty good quality throughout it all uh comparatively to a lot of animes i've seen i've seen some animes that still only lasted one season as well and the quality was all over the place there were some choppy graphics choppy visuals and it just didn't retain much and the magic was all over the place whereas this scene this uh, anime just kind of retains a great solid bar of like maybe a 7.5, 8 on 10 for most of the series. So it's nice when you want to just something in between maybe one of the longer series that you might be watching, like Full Metal or Hunter x Hunter or whatever floats your boat. So I would check it out. I would still rate it probably, as I said, probably like a 7 on 10. It's worth a watch, but the story is greatly erratic. Most of the logic behind the series makes no sense. Again, this happens a lot in anime, but it kind of infuriates me to this point. Uh, in this entire series, I think you see one adult, almost almost everyone uh, at the school. I mean, you see adults outside of the school, but the school itself seems to be being run by children, which I, I don't really care how powerful they all are. They're supposed to be between the ages of, let's say, 14 to 17, 18 years old, and you have them running an entire like advanced combat magic school. It makes no sense. It is illogical and would never happen in real life. It's not based on anything in real life. It's not like Japanese schools are run by their kids. So I don't understand how this idea became popular within Japanese anime. I just don't get it. And many of the things happening in the series should have adults swarming all over them, but there's nothing. They're just allowing these teenagers to handle all this stuff. Uh, you know, you also have 
course, characters who look like they're 10 years old and then a character who looks like he might be 35, 40, but they're all supposed to be the same age, which again, does not make any sense whatsoever. I just wish there was more consistently consistency within Japanese uh, illustration to, to like keep characters ages within a set. There are people who are younger, who are teenagers who look older than their age, but these are extremes. It doesn't make any sense. So that can be, that definitely be fixed. But if you just, again, focus on the combat, focus on the action, focus on the coolness of everything, it is a great series. It is a great way to just pass the time while you are waiting for maybe something else to come out. So I would check it out. And uh, if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. I wanted to make this video pretty quick. I don't want to go full depth because I don't really feel like this series is worthy of a huge in-depth analysis, but maybe one day I will focus on something a bit more specific. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Check out the website, geeksandbarbells.com. I am going to go outside and enjoy the sunlight because it is beautiful outside and screw the virus. I want to glory in the sunlight. Have fun, everybody.